Hello guys! I'm Teddy Works, and in this new Procreate tutorial I'm gonna show you how to draw a colorful giraffe with geometric background step by step. We'll use quite a few of Procreate tools and features, as well as free brushes which you can download along with the color palette in the video description below. If you like my YouTube tutorials, you can find more in-depth tutorials and exclusive brush sets on my Patreon page. It is also linked in the description below. Without further ado, let's grab our pencils and get started! The size of the canvas is 2000 by 2500 pixels, 300 dpi. I'd like to start with a quick and easy sketch. After that we will apply colors and add a mix of various textures on top. For sketching I will grab this dark color, which is almost black, and also go to the tutorial bundle to get a sketching pencil. You can use your favorite brush from Procreate sketching section if you have any. Here I'll set the size to 25% and first define the dimensions of the giraffe's head. Let's make it quite big. And these two distances are for the ears. They are almost same as the head, maybe slightly smaller. After that I will draw a horizontal line approximately here. The height will be almost one and a half of this distance. And after that I will draw a rounded triangle, connecting these parts. Drawing on the side first, then on the other one, and connecting them on top as well, also making rounded corners. Here at the bottom I will draw sort of a circle, but it's not really a circle. It may also have rounded corners like this. Just another simple shape. Now let's draw a symmetry line that will go through the center of the head vertically, like this. Let's draw these lines for the eyes. At some distance from top. And also determine the height of the eyes. Let's try to keep it same. We also need to make the head rounded on top, so I will just draw an arc starting from the grid, going to both sides, and connecting it with the top of the head. After that I will draw the horns. So first I will make one arc going up and then another one. And on the opposite sides I will draw two more arcs and connect them with the head as well. Let's make them rounded on top. The first one. And then the other one. I'm also making it rounded. Let's finish the shapes by drawing inside. Ok, now these are ready. We can draw the ears. First I will draw two lines, starting approximately from here and going to the sides with a small angle. After that I will draw two rounded triangles, first on top of the line. 
and then at the bottom. We can also make this tip rounded. Let's do the same on the opposite ear. First I will make a shape on top of it, going from the head and connecting it with the tip. Making a rounded corner. Then I will draw another one at the bottom. Let me outline them so you can see it better. And now we can draw shapes inside. I will make it a little wider here. Also slightly rounded. And go to the side. Let's do the same on this ear. I will start from here. And go to the side like this. Making the shape rounded. Now we can connect the horns with the bottom of the head with two more arcs. I am drawing the first one and connecting it with a circle. Now let's do the same on the left side as well. Let's draw two tiny nostrils that will look like seed shapes, trying to make them symmetrical, like this. And now we can draw the eyes. So I will first draw two arcs on the sides, that will go slightly outside the head. The first one, then here. And after that I will draw one more arc, going inside, and also connect it at the bottom. So it will also look like a seed shape. Now let's draw this one. Let's connect it. And we can draw a tiny lash. Also here. I think we can also add eyelids. The ones on top will be bigger. Let me draw this one here. And the ones at the bottom will be smaller. Before we draw the neck, I think we can clean up the head. So I will grab a razor and set it to monoline brush, but with a big size. I will erase all unnecessary lines. These two inside the ears. Then all these lines inside the head. Let's remove this one. Then we don't need the symmetry line. And all these arcs inside. I will keep only the nostrils. To make the size smaller. And delete the lines. I will also remove the lines inside the eyes. Now the head is ready. Let's draw a simple neck. It will consist of two arcs. The first one will start from here and go to the left side, connecting it with the edge of the canvas. 
and then I will draw one more. The neck will get wider at the bottom. Let me outline them even more. So we have more clear lines. And now we can start applying the colors. At this point we can go ahead and change the background color. I'll select the first one from the palette. Now let's create one more layer and place it under the sketch. We can also lower the opacity of the sketch layer a little. I'll set it to 50%. Let's start adding the colors on the head. And for that I will grab color number 12. Here we will have two options. We can either use selection tool and outline it in freehand mode, or to get smooth lines. It is better to use monoline from calligraphy set. Before applying it, you can go and change a few settings in stabilization. For example, you can increase the amount of streamline, stabilization, and motion filtering. It will be much easier to work. I will set the size to around 10 or 11 percent and outline the entire head, excluding the ears. Just following the sketch. Here I will add rounded corners to make a smooth transition to the snout. Let's continue outlining it at the bottom, then go up again and do the same on the opposite side. After that I will continue following the sketch and outline the head on the side. Let's go up on the horns, also outline them. On this side, let me continue this one. And then I will just connect them at this point. Now that we have the outlines, we can drag the color inside to fill the shape. And you may need to slide to the sides to adjust the color drop threshold. For the ears, I'll create a new layer and place it under the head. Let's also change the color into number 2 and outline the ears one by one. I will start with this one. Make all the corners rounded. Continue on the lower side. We also need to connect it here on the head and then fill. Let's now outline the other one. On the sketch. Let me make it rounded, then connect it here and drag the color inside. With the same color we can outline the neck, but I'll do it on a separate layer. Let's create it and outline these two arcs. The first one And then the other one. Now we also need to connect them and fill the shape. Now we can start adding more colors on the head. So let's go to the second layer, create another layer above it and clip it to keep the colors inside. In the palette I will pick color number 4. 
and outline the snout together with the horns. So I will draw this arc on the side. Then the other one. And connect the invisible parts both on top and at the bottom. So we can fill it. After that I'd like to draw the eyes and the nostrils. So I'll create a new layer, but I'm not clipping it. Let's first draw the eyes. So I will select this dark color number 9. And since we can see small corners here, it is better to switch to another brush. For example technical pen, which has tapered tips. Here we can also set the size to 10% and draw the eyes together with the lashes. Let me also outline this one. Drawing along the sketch. And now we can fill them both. On the same layer I will draw the nostrils. So I will first outline them. Needs to be a little smaller. And then I will fill. We can now pick this light color and create a layer below. This time we will also need to clip it. And draw the eyelids around the eyes. I will just outline it this way. Fill this one and go to the opposite side. Let's also connect it and fill. We can go back to eyes a little later. Right now I'd like to add more geometrical shapes inside the head. And for that I'll create a layer below this one, actually right above the head. I will switch to the fifth color and draw two lines like this, going from the corners of the eyes with an angle to the horns. Let's also draw this one, try to make it symmetrical and after that outline it like this, around the head. Now we can also fill them. I think we can create one more layer or even try to draw on the same layer in order not to make them too many, but we need to change the color to number 3. I will draw two more lines. They may go a little upper than the nostrils, towards the eyes. We can edit the shape. Then I will draw one more line on the opposite side. Let's connect it. And also fill. In the end we can paint these parts on top of the horns and we can actually do it on the same layer with the eyes. So I will pick this dark color and go to layer number 6. We can simply outline them this one. It is okay if we go a little outside the sketch. So it covers the orange part. And after that I will fill them. Now let me create a new layer above the layer number 5, which is this one. I also want to add two shapes on the snout. 
with a darker brown color, which is number 6. I will just draw two more lines. On the opposite side. They will meet here at the bottom. Then I will outline them around the snout and fill. If we toggle the sketch lay, this is what we will get. And before we start adding the textures, I think we can add more colors on the ears. So let's go to the third layer, create another one above it and clip. We can pick orange color from here and draw like this on top of the ears. Let's fill it and do the same on the other ear. I'm also filling it. Let me now go to the neck which is layer number 4. I'll create a layer above it and then clip it as well. I will just drag this orange color on the neck and I'll keep it like this for now, so we can proceed to adding textures. I'd like to start with the ears, since they are small and we can do it fast. We don't need the sketch anymore. Let's go to the third layer and create another layer above. That will be clipped. I will first use color number 7. And in the brushes, I will pick Grunge brush. It's actually a brush from texture set. I just changed settings many times, so I'm not sure it will work exactly same as yours. That's why I included it in the tutorial bundle. Let me select it and set the size to round 18 or 17%. I will start drawing slightly inside the ears, very close to the head, and I am not pressing too much on it. After that I will change the color into a darker one, which is number 8, and also add it. Like this. Now to add the highlights, I will be doing the following. Go into Selection and using it in freehand mode without color fill. Let's create two selections like this. I will move my pencil parallel to the edge at some distance from it. Let's tap here and do the same on the second ear. Tap in and I will go to activate the eraser. In calligraphy set, I will grab chalk brush. Its opacity is at around 63% and size is at maximum. I will just erase it slightly like this. Working on the selections. After that we can deselect it and see the result. Let's now work on the orange part. So we can merge these two layers and go to the layer number 10, which is this one. First of all, I'll create a layer above it, also clip it, and to keep the textures only inside the orange part, we need to go to the layer and get it selected. Now I will go back to the new layer and use color number 5 for shading. Let me increase the size to around 20% and apply it slightly on top of the ears. Then I will grab a darker color and also draw like this, close to the head. These are also done. I'll deselect it and we can proceed to the head. We can totally merge all the layers for the ears. Let's now go to the layer number 5, which is this orange one. I will create a layer above it 
it will be clipped already. But we also need to get it selected. Because all the shapes are clipped to the head. And if we apply textures now, they will be applied to the entire head as well. So I will just tap on the layer and in the menu select Select. Go into the new layer and pick in color number 5. Here we can make the size even bigger and apply it slightly on top of the horns and at the bottom of the snout, going a little up. Now let's grab a darker color, number 6, and also draw like this. We can apply it on the edges as well, but with a smaller size. Here I'll go up. Let's keep it like this for now. And deselect. This way I will be applying textures on the remaining shapes. So let's go to this too. Which are on the 8th layer. I will also create a layer on top of it. And get the layer number 8 selected. Go into the new layer. And here I will apply only this dark color, making strokes inwards from the sides. I'm not pressing too much on the pencil, just darkening it a little bit, like this. Actually, we can have the selection active, so we can pick this color and apply it on the light yellow part, making strokes on the sides. Getting a subtle texture. In the end we can go to the base layer of the head, which is number 2, create a layer above it, and here we don't have to use selection. I will just grab this light color number 3 and tap a few times to add the texture. Ok. Now these are ready, let's apply it on this dark part on the snout. So we need to go to this layer number 9, create another one above it. It is already clipped, we just need to get it selected and go to the newly created layer. Here I will apply color number 5, just a little bit on the sides. That's it. Now let's deselect it and add the highlight to the entire head. So we can actually stay here. I'll just go to selection and using freehand mode, I will start outlining it like this. Going parallel to the edge at some distance. I will transition to the snout, continue like this, then go up again and work on the opposite edge. We need to outline it all. Let me go up here. And then I will go like this. Let's tap here and click on the eraser. Since we are on this layer now, we can start erasing it slightly like this on the edge, not pressing too much. Now I will go to all layers with the texture, working on layer number 11 now and erasing it on the horns. Let's now go to this one, number 12, and continue going to the sides. Still working with the same selection. And actually it is ready now. Let's deselect it. And I think we can also add a subtle highlight under the nostrils. 
So let's go to this layer, which is number 11. And I think we can use selection here as well. Just outline it under the nostrils. Then on this one, let me make it wider. Then I'll tap on it, on the eraser, and erase the texture. Now we can deselect. In the end I will work on the eyes. So let me go to the layer on which we have the eyes. I'll create another layer above it and also add a clipping mask. First I'd like to add a subtle texture to it. We can use color number 10 here. And also grunge brush. I will just lower the size a little and make a couple of strokes at the bottom of the eyes. Now we can pick white color from the color disk. I'll create one more layer above. Go to calligraphy set and pick monoline brush. I will just draw two more circles inside the eyes. And now the head is almost ready. We'll go back to it a little later. And now let's work on the neck. So we can actually merge the lace for the eyes and for the entire head without the ears. Like this. Now I will go to the 11th layer, which is this orange color. Then go to selection and continue using it in freehand. Let's draw a selection inside the orange color like this. I will make a curve. And then another one parallel to it. Along the neck. Let's tap to connect it. And now draw a few more shapes. Also make them curvy. Let's also tap here and draw a couple of more. They may look slightly different. I will also tap here to connect it and draw the last one somewhere here. They may go a little wider, then get narrow, or go parallel. Let's now tap here, then swipe three fingers down and click cut. We will just need to fix the lines if they are curvy. I'll be using a razor, which is set to monoline. This way our giraffe will get some spots on his neck. Let me fix this one. And now it is fine. We can start adding the textures. First I will add the texture to the light part. So we need to create a layer between these two. And it will be clipped. I will apply color number 7 and use grunge brush. I will just increase the size and make a few strokes. After that I will go to the orange color. I'll create a layer above it, then clip it and get the orange layer selected. So the texture will be applied only to the orange color but not to the light part. Now I will go to the new layer and first grab color number 5. Let's apply it here on the neck. 
also on this side, applying low pressure. And after that switch to a darker color, number 6. I will draw more on this side and go up along the edge to darken it even more. We can draw a little on the right side as well. And at the end I will add a highlight. So let's deselect it now. Go back to selection. And draw along the neck. Go parallel to it. Let's close it. And then do the same on the opposite side. Also tap to connect. Now I will grab a razor and switch to chalk brush, as we did on the head. Let's start erasing it. And on this side as well. Now without deselecting, we need to go to the sixth layer, with the texture on the light part. And also erase it. Now it is ready. We can deselect. But I'd like to add a few more details. So let's go to the seventh layer, create another one above it, and then clip. I just want to add more textures. For that let me go to Texture Set from Procreate and grab a brush called Rosette. Its size and opacity are set to maximum. I will just pick this dark color, number 9, and start drawing with low pressure, mostly on the side. Now we need to change the layers blending mode. It can be either set to overlay or to soft light, whichever you like the most. I want to keep it subtle, so I will select soft light. And before we apply the same texture on the head, we can add a cast shadow that comes from the head to the neck. For that we will create a new layer, can be located above this one. Then we also need to clip it and select technical pen or monoline. Just draw a shape like this. We need to connect it and fill. We can also change the shape a little using warp tool. I'll just make it a little bit wider, like this. After that I will just lower the opacity. We can set it to around 50%, so it'll get transparent. Now let's finish our work on the head. As I said, we can add the texture, so I'll create a layer above it. Also clip it and go back to reset brush. I will just apply it slightly here on the head with low pressure and then change the layers blending mode. I will also set it to soft light. Now we can merge these two layers and create another one. I will also clip it and change the color to white, which we can also select from the color disk. I will just go to selection 
and switch to rectangle. Let's outline the right half of the head and click color fill. Once it is filled, we can go and change the lace blending mode. I'll set it to soft light and also lower the opacity a little. We can set it to around 55%. In the end I will add cast shadows on the ears. So let's go to the layer with the ears, create another one above it and not forget to clip it. Here I will use black color again. We can use technical pen and just draw two shapes like this, close to the ears, the first one and then one more. Let's fill them and lower the opacity. Here we can set it around 40%. And now it is time to start working on the background. I'd like to make it geometrical. So let's create a layer right above the background color. Go to the color palette and select color number 11. I will switch to monoline. I will first draw a shape like this. Try to match it with the edge of the giraffe's head and with the ear on this side. Let's fill it and then draw another one. This time it'll go along this ear. I'll start from the edge and try to make the line smooth. Let's draw under the giraffe's shape and also fill it. After that I'll create a layer below this one and change the color to number 10. We can draw a shape like this, fill it, and then I will continue this line. Try to match it with the giraffe geometrically. Then I will draw an arc going to the right like this. We can use quick shape tool here and edit it. I will also connect it and fill. Now we can apply textures on the shapes as well. Since we are on this one, we can simply create a layer above it and clip. We can grab the dark color from here and select branch brush. I will increase the brush size and draw slightly on this shape, also here at the bottom. We can merge these two layers now. Now go to the layer with the dark color, also create another one above it and clip it to keep the textures inside. Here I will add a lighter color. I think we can pick it right from here. So I will make a subtle stroke on this small shape and then on the bigger one. Finally, let's work on this light part. And here I will apply color number 10. So we need to create a new layer and place it right above the background color. I will just draw slightly here to add the texture. And in the end, I will apply paper overlays on the entire drawing. So I'll go ahead and create a layer on top of all layers. First I will pick black color. Go to the tutorial bundle and select the paper brush called craft paper. With the size and opacity set to maximum, I will apply it on the canvas. We'll get a paper texture like this. But I would like to add one more. So I will create another layer 
and this time I will change the layers mode to overlay and pick white color. Let's try to use the other paper brush, which is called recycled paper. I will also apply it on top. And you will get a mix of paper textures. I think they combine very well together. Well, this is almost ready, but I think we can add even more geometry to the drawing. So let me go ahead and create a layer right under the textures. I will set the layers mode to soft light and pick black color. Let's change the brush here and set it to monoline. I will just draw an oval here that will cross the head on the horns. We can edit this arc and fill it. We also need to lower the opacity. Around 40% will work. On the same layer we can add more shapes. For example, I will draw another oval in this corner. Let me also edit it. And then fill. Here I will draw one more. That will cross the giraffe's neck. We can also edit the shape. And fill it. Let me draw one last shape here, but I think for that I will create a new layer, above this one. I will also set it to soft light and lower its opacity right away. I will also set it to 40%. And draw another shape here, crossing the ear and one of the arcs. Let's also fill it. And maybe I will adjust the opacity even more. Here I will set it to 28%. I think it would be nice if we add the shadow from the neck. But we need to do it below the giraffe. So I will create a layer here. Above all background textures. And draw an arc like this. Let me edit it a little. Then we need to connect it and fill. I will also set it to soft light and lower the opacity. 40% will also work. Let's have a look at it now. And at this point the drawing is totally ready. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. The link to it is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.